Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 223. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link. You can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 221 to 229. Hey, in this trick here, we have a text string here, and we want to count how many X's there are in this text string. Then we want to count how many A's there are in this text string. Now, this would be an easy task using count if if we had an X here and an X here and an A here and an A here. But the problem is we have this little text string. So really the trick here is if we can figure out how to take this word and from it create an array of letters and individual characters, then we can easily ask the question how many X's are there. So let's click in the cell in here. Let's see if we can do that first part from a text string create an array of individual characters. Now we're going to start off with the mid. And the way mid works, if I said mid of that text, comma starting number three, comma how many characters one, this would go one, two, three to P and extract just one character so it would extract the P. Now that's just a regular formula, not an array. If we could instead for the starting number, create an, an array. There's 13 characters here. So if we can have an array of 1 to 13 here, it would, when we control shift enter, extract mid. Um, and the starting position would be 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4. So that's a way to get uh, all of the individual letters. The trick is, how do we get that array? Because as we copy this formula down, there's some that are 13, or 12, or 10, or whatever. Here's how we can do it. We could use the row. And then the indirect, the row count uh, tells you what row you're in. The indirect tells you or converts a reference as text to a reference. So watch this. We're going to create a creative little uh, reference to count characters in double quotes, one colon, n double quote, ampersand, len of this. What this is doing is it saying row 1 colon all the way to whatever the length this is. So here it'll be 1 to 13. When I get down to here, it'll be 1 to 10. So we've created our, our references text for the rows. Close, paren uh, close parentheses on the indirect, which the indirect will convert it to a reference, and then close parentheses on the rows, and the rows will tell us the row number. So if we highlight this and hit our F9 to C, boy, that created our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to 13. I'm going to Control Z. Now the start number, so I comma, and now how many characters? One. So you see, uh, when it gets to 13, it'll have a 1, so it'll extract the N. When it gets to 12, it'll, it'll see the F and extract 1, so it'll extract the F. Now that's the array, and you can actually highlight this uh, whole thing here and hit F9 and see that it actually does just that. Control Z. The only trick now is we need to ask a question of this. Um, and we're going to use some product. Some product. Now I'm going to highlight uh, or put parentheses around this whole mid here. And then I'm going to say equals to this x. Now this cell reference right here, we haven't talked about the cell reference. This one needs to be locked going down but not to the side. So I'm going to put the dollar sign in front of the 8, the row reference. This one needs to be in front of the b, the column reference. Same with this one. So that uh, when we move over this way to the a, count the a's, it'll be locked there. But when we move down, it will be. Uh, not locked. All right, uh, let's put a, a close parentheses on this so we have our whole sum products. I just want to take a little look at this. If we highlight just the, the asking the question of all the letters, are they equal to x and hit F9, it gives us true false. Well, some product is not going to add those up. So we need to do one last little trick because true and false, it won't see those as numbers. Control Z. So we're actually going to have to multiply this. Uh, whole mi this true false sequence by the number one. So I'm going to put one times open parentheses and then a close parentheses at the end. <clears throat> so now if we highlight all of that, multiply by one and hit F9, we see that it gives us our ones, our zeros, and our ones. Control Z. And now we can, uh, this is an array formula, but actually it's not really because the sum products can handle an array. Array formulas require Control Shift Enter, but this one doesn't. Control Enter, 
or enter, however you want it, and then copy it over, and then double click and send it down. And there we have counted the number of characters. Even if we uh, come over here and type uh, XX, we can see that then it goes to two. All right, uh, we'll see you next Excel trick.